I've always been kind of hesitant to try water washable resin. It just seemed like there must be some kind of trade-off compared to normal resin. Otherwise, why would anyone go through the hassle of cleaning with isopropyl alcohol? Maybe it's not as durable, I thought. Well, recently I picked up 3 kilograms of Anycubic's new water washable ABS like V2 to test out, and here's how it went. First, I printed an Amerilabs test print using Anycubic's recommended settings from their website. I suspected I was over curing the layers based on that test print, so I decided to lower the exposure time from 2.5 seconds to 2.1 seconds. I was pretty confident that that was going to fix it. Next I printed a full plate of models for the game Idols of Torment. These particular models have a lot of long skinny fingers and horns, so this was a fairly challenging test print, and aside from losing a finger while I was removing them from the supports, they came out looking pretty good. I did lower my burn-in layer exposure time down to 25 seconds because the prints were really sticking to my new laser engraved plate. I'm loving my motto too by the way. After a couple rounds of successful prints, I purchased two of these pickle jars with strainers, one for the first wash and one for a final wash. I would suggest draping a dish towel or something over these while you're washing to keep the water from splashing out. Uh, it's important to note that this stuff is just as toxic as regular resin and should be handled with gloves and in a well ventilated area. I will say not having to use IPA really cuts down on the smell, but I'd still suggest using a respirator. After a few wash cycles, dump the dirty resin water into a large container and leave it outside to evaporate. Do not pour this down the drain like some kind of psychopath. Alternatively, I've read online that you can take this stuff to a waste processing facility, but leaving it outside to evaporate seems like a much easier thing to do to me. I gotta say this stuff really exceeded all of my expectations. Up until now I've been using Anycubic's UV Tough Resin, which is a strong and flexible resin. I've had great results with it. So far I've printed out 2 kilograms of this new ABS like and I gotta say it's just as durable and just as flexible as the UV Tough, but it is just way easier to clean. Side note, if you're printing Blessed Sisters, watch out for those crowns. I broke most of them off while I was removing them from the supports, just because they're so tiny. John is going to be painting these up for some future battle reports, so sorry John. Here's me showing how flexible this stuff is. If you're wondering, I cure these for 2-3 to three minutes, flipping them midway. So unless I have issues with the ABS like cracking in the future, as I've heard it tends to do, I think I might just be done with the IPA. And I think I might just have a new favorite resin. 